Good morning and a very special welcome to you all to the University of Lusaka, a university whose motto is passion for quality education, our driving force. My name is Stella Zimba. I'm the Deputy Registrar Academic. I belong to the Academic Office, which is the hub of the university. What does the Academic Office do? The Academic Office is the one that receives your application letters and processes them after which you receive your admission letters from here. Then once you receive your admission letter, semester registration is done through the academic office. So your registration of courses is processed by the academic office. Kindly note that semester registration should be done at the beginning of each semester. Uh, for this semester in particular, you need to be fully registered for all your courses, failure to which you will not be able to attend online lectures. And uh, we also process examination registration at the academic office. So before the mid-semester examination period, each student is supposed to register for examinations. And this registration should be done online. Uh, and after your registration is done, you obtain a uh, registration form which you use. Kindly of refer to the examinations video on the portal so that you can get more details about uh, examination registration. We also process exemptions for students who have prior qualifications before getting into this university. And uh, did, such students are expected to fill in an exemption request form and submit a transcript of results from their previous uh, institutions of learning. We also process deferments for students who wish to take some time off their studies uh, before they conclude their period of study in the university. Now, correspondence uh, to the university is also processed by the academic office. Therefore, if you need anything from the university, you should write to the registrar academic and uh, send your email or your request by email to the email addresses that are indicated on the portal. Phone numbers, if you need verbal communication with the university, are also on the portal. Feel free to check and communicate with the academic office. Members of staff there will give you speedy responses according to your various requests. So we process general correspondence, which includes letters of introduction, visa application letters. Uh, we confirm students' uh, presence in the university uh, from different institutions. And we also process letters of internship and many other such documents. If you need verification of your documents after concluding your studies from here, again, it's the academic office that will do that. Apart from uh, what I've talked about, I want to take you through your progression rules in the university. Every student is expected to pass all their courses that they take throughout the time that uh, they are in the university. So you can only proceed to the next semester of study if you pass all your courses. Now, a student who fails to pass more than half of the courses that they are taking in the university will not proceed to the next semester. So if you fail to pass more than 50% of your courses, for example, you have five courses and you fail three, if you are such a student, unfortunately, you will be excluded from the university. Therefore, you should always endeavor to pass so that you are able to proceed. However, if you don't pass half of your courses, you'll be allowed to repeat just those two or three courses if you have six and you fail three, you'll be allowed to only take the three courses you failed before you can proceed to the next semester. But if you pass three out of five courses, you'll be allowed to proceed to the next semester and repeat the courses that you may have failed. However, kindly note that uh, overloads, course overloads are not allowed before you get to the fourth and last semester of your study. For the School of Medicine, if a student fails any course, they will not be allowed to proceed to the next semester until they clear what is pending. Um, 
For the exclusion policy and its details, I'll refer you to the portal so that you get to read and understand all that is contained in that particular document. For the grading system, kindly read the university handbook where you'll find all the details that you need regarding uh, the grading system of the university. Once again, I want to welcome you all and ask that you work very hard, avoid being entangled in time-wasting activities, but just focus on your studies because that's the reason why you have chosen this wonderful university whose uh, motto is passion for quality education as its driving force. So we hope you share in this and work hard avoid examination malpractice and just be the person who you have always been and achieve what you have come to this university for. We wish you the best. Thank you very much.